Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the problem uh, to convert 3.19 times 10 to the minus five meters into nanometers. So the first thing that you'll notice is in your uh, textbook, we could, or anywhere really, you can look up nano, which means nine, right? Nano, uh, so there's N, and it means 10 to the minus nine. So that means that four nanograms equals four times 10 to the minus nine grams. Okay, so that means nanograms are really, really small. See, it's this many grams, like it's a really, really small number. So 10 to the minus nine. So let's do this in two different ways. Um, I'm gonna use red to show you that one times 10 to the nine nanograms is equal to one gram. And then I'm gonna use purple to write one times 10 to the negative nine grams equals one nanogram. You can do that either way. Okay, so nano is 10 to the minus nine. So if you put this into terms of grams, then one times 10 to the minus nine grams equals one nanogram. So let's do this in two different ways to show you how to do it. Okay, um, let's do the red one first. So we're gonna do our three 0.19 times 10 to the minus five meters. And I'm gonna use my red conversion factor. Okay, so I'm gonna put my line here. And I'm gonna to try to put my meters, now these are gonna be meters here, right? Because we're, we're not using grams, we're using meters. So everywhere I have a G, I'm just gonna replace with an M. So I want my meters on the bottom, so that's uh, one meter equals one times 10 to the ninth nanometers. Okay, so now my meters cancel out here, but I'm left with all these numbers. And when I multiply this out, I get 3.19 times 10 to the minus fifth times one times 10 to the nine. I get 319,000, wait, that's not 319,000, that's 31,900 nanometers. Okay, so now let's do it using the purple conversion factor, just in case you aren't sure which one to use. Okay, so now this one is 3.19 times 10 to the minus five meters. This time we're going to put our, um, our minus nine there. So we're gonna do one times 10 to the minus nine meters equals one nanometer. And I still get 31,900 nanometers. My meters have canceled out once again. So I hope that helps you figure out how to do this problem. Um, and if you have any more questions, please feel free to text me.